there was a star-studded audience. Richard Todd and his wife were early arrivals for the royal performance. Radiant Janet Scott was escorted by Peter Arn. This was the most memorable evening of the cinema year. Lauren McCall's presence helped to make it an international occasion. Alec Guinness, conspicuous as the star of the evening's film, added in his unique way to the glamour of the event. For seven-year-old Maxine Bygraves, it was a night she'll remember all her life. Frankie Vaughan and his wife, lovely June Cunningham. All in all, there was only one verdict possible so far, good show. Peter Sellers was restricted to one part only, himself. All attention now switched to outside the theater, where Her Majesty the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret were received by the general manager. Inside the doors, the president of the Cinematograph Trade Benevolent Fund, Lord Rank, received the royal visitors and introduced Mr. Bromhead, chairman of the fund, and the chairman of MGM, Mr. Goldsmith. Now came the eagerly awaited presentation of the stars to the Queen Mother and the Princess. After Max Bygraves was Maurice Chevalier, veteran in years, forever young in heart. Her Majesty delighted him by speaking in French. If any star can be described as the best known in the world, it is Alec Guinness. Off stage, modesty itself. Janet Scott received a gracious word from the Queen Mother, whose charm put all at their ease. As on many similar performances, Richard Todd was now presented. As Princess Margaret was speaking to Janet Scott, a very young lady came forward, four-year-old Amanda Abelese. She came through her ordeal perfectly. The princess spoke to Kay Walsh, a star of the royal film, and then turned to receive her own bouquet from little Maxine Bygraves. By gracious royal patronage, the fund benefited by about 20,000 pounds.